Uh, by request, this is from page 184. That's chapter 3.4, number 10, C. It's an inequality where I have two fractions adding. That's going to always be greater than 3 over 4. And the question just says, solve, which, as we know, means find the x value that makes this true. Um, I believe, if you recall from our class, the best way, and the in fact, the only way we have learned uh, to solve an inequality is to create everything into a single rational function. So if you have three fractions that way, your goal is to make the denominator the same for all three fractions. So I could turn this into a single big fraction with a common denominator. 6x, 3x, and 4, uh, I could see the common denominator be uh, a 12, a 12x. So the first fraction, I need to multiply top and bottom by 2 to make the bottom 12x. I need to multiply the top and bottom by 4 to turn into a 12x. I need to multiply top and bottom by a 3x to turn it into a 12x. And all of that is greater than 0. So if I were to simplify, I get myself a negative 9x plus 18 is greater than 0. And that's it. So I have a rational function that has a numerator and denominator having the same degree. Oof. Well, let's solve it. Um, just before we even start, I'm going to factor this because it may be helpful in the future. I do not know. I'm just trying it blind. All right. From here, in an inequality, uh, ultimately, the, best, the place we want to be is to create a chart so we can create intervals. Put all the vertical asymptotes and the x-intercepts here. Put all the you know, signs that could potentially be a negative here and see what the overall sign of the main function will be and look for the intervals that give me a positive because if the function is a positive y value, then clearly it's greater than zero. So erasing all this, let's get started. My domain, x could be anything, but x cannot be equal to a zero. By intercepts, I could do the y-intercept, but again, our final goal is to do this chart, which means I need only the x-intercepts and the vertical asymptotes. So forget the y-intercept. I take that back. The question says to solve, and then it says to illustrate graphically. So, okay, let's do it both. The y-intercept is easiest. f of x is zero. That means I get, uh, oh, you can't because x cannot be a zero. So in other words, there is no y-intercept. Ooh, great for us. In terms of x-intercepts, when is f of x equal to 0? Well, it's equal to 0 when negative 9x minus 2 equals a 0. Therefore, that means x has to be a 2. My x-intercept is just 2, 0. All right. Asymptotes. Vertical asymptote automatically, x is equal to 0. Why? It makes the denominator a 0. Horizontal asymptote? Yes, this is a horizontal asymptote because I noticed that the degree of numerator and denominator are equal. And what is that horizontal asymptote? Using my shortcut, it's going to be negative 3 over 4. If you don't use a shortcut, know that f of x can be factored uh, with a x, so it becomes 18 over x, over x, 12. Crisscross, this becomes 9, negative 9 plus 18 over x, over 12. As x approaches infinity, f of x, which is negative 9 plus 18 over x, it becomes 18 over infinity, it becomes negative 9 plus a very, 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 very small number over 12, which is going to be negative 3 over 4, but slightly bigger. Okay, slightly bigger than negative 3 over 4. As x is greater, uh, approaches negative infinity, f of x is going to be negative 3 over 4, but it's going to subtract by a zero, thereby making this negative number even bigger than it already is. So it's going to be more negative than it was before. Okay. Uh, and now we do the chart method. 
pie chart method, the x-intercept is 2, the vertical asymptote is 0. The potential negatives in this equation are negative 9, the x minus 2, and the 12x. So here's the overall function. Anything negative, that becomes negative, that becomes negative, so the overall negative. This is a VA. That's a negative, that's going to be a negative, that's a positive, that's a plus, do, 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 do. And a zero, and then a negative, positive, positive, that's going to be a negative. So the only time this function right here, this rational function, is going to be greater than zero is this interval. Therefore, 5 over 6x plus 2 over 3x is greater than 3 over 4 when x belongs to uh, not including a 0 and not including a 2. There it is. Graphically, what does this look like? I'll give it a shot with what we are given. Do, do, do. Uh, my x-intercept is a 2. My y-intercept does not exist. I have a vertical asymptote at right here. I have a horizontal asymptote at negative 3 over 4. What else do I know? As I approach positive infinity, I am above the negative 3 over 4 line. And from negative infinity side, I am underneath the line. Left of the vertical asymptote, I am negative. Right of the vertical asymptote, I am positive. Putting all these pieces together, my graph should look like this. Oh, that was terrible. Like that. Okay, it's not it's supposed to be a nice smooth curve. Anyways, so the interval that I am looking at when the f of x is greater than zero is this portion right here. So from zero to two. Hope that's been a, a useful video for you. Uh, continue studying and good luck. I will see you tomorrow.